Yeah, we're still. Yeah, we're we're just rolling roll really uh, rolling right now. So it's just based on uh, you know how how it's going with the last period, and we roll them. And guys, you know, I think you saw everybody get ripped from the ones today, and so I think you know we'll take a look and see. You know, after this uh, practice, you know, as we go into the last two weeks, which are probably our most important of spring practice, you know, how we want to continue to divvy up their reps. But, uh, but, you know, today and up to this point, we've just rolled them. And so I think you want to give everybody an opportunity to play with the ones, the twos, and threes and just see how what that looks like when it's all the same. Because sometimes um, if somebody's getting reps with the ones, twos, or threes, you can get a little tainted just based on what's around them. So uh, we try to do that. We'll look at it here and can continue to move forward based on what we think is best for the competition. Is there a little thing going? Uh, yeah, so he, uh, but he, you know, he's out here. He's getting some, some work in here, and so we'll keep mixing them in. Yep. Right next door, Stephen Means. Yeah, I, I, um, I think we've done a nice job in certain areas. I think that we're still trying to figure out what the who the best five is and where they are. So we've done a little bit of moving around, um, especially on the right side in particular. You know, Josh Fryer's played a little guard. Tegler's moved in there. Um, you know, we've had Luke Montgomery there. So I think that's really what we got to figure out. Um, I think Carson and, and Seth both have done a nice job at center so far. And even Josh Padilla has done nice. Uh, had some nice snaps in there as well. Uh, we've tried to get mix those guys in against our one defensive line to see what that looks like. So um, I think there's been really good progress made, but we got to figure out, you know, who those five are. And then uh, as we as we head into the preseason, get that chemistry down. I, you know, I, I, I'd like to think so, but we still have two more weeks to evaluate that. Dan Hope in the front row. Ryan, if this was like late that our Brandon Innes were taking reps today, what's their status? Yeah, just uh, I, I think Lathan was just is doing uh, right now uh, his progression back. He's doing uh, individual drills, and we mixed him into some seven-on-seven. Seven. We'll continue to add in things as spring goes on, but uh, just based on the injury last year, we just want to ease him back into it. Everything looks great. Just need to be smart with him. Uh, Brandon um, just has a you know a, a temporary injury here that you know we're hopefully getting back here soon. Yeah, I know uh, progress being made, and you know the biggest thing you try to figure out is when, when guys make mistakes, do they learn from the mistake and move on from it? Uh, he's done that. He's I saw him flash today in special teams, so so that's good. That's positive. But um, but yeah, I think the more guys are, are thrown into the fire, you kind of find out how they respond. And, and, um, you know, a lot of the installs kind of in now. Uh, I think we'll still continue to install some things and look at some different um, schemes on both sides of the ball. But the next two weeks are really an opportunity for guys to go compete. He's going to be one of them because uh, we're trying to build three deep in each position based on you know, the way the next year is going to be with the playoffs and everything like that. We know we're going to – we used to say a pair and a spare. Now we need three at each position. So uh, we need to build depth at all positions. And so he'll, he'll be somebody that will be in the mix. Cameron T. Robinson. Yep. Yeah, they were in the backfield a bunch, especially like you said in the coming out period. You know, first time doing coming out a uh, little, uh, you know, too loose on offense. You know, we, we got to tighten that up. But you can see the quickness with some of those interior guys. You, know, you see Caden. You see some of the, the movement that's going on in there. I think Jason Moore. I think Larry talked about that. He's flashed, uh, showing that he can do it. Um, so you know, and then also you know on the edge, you see Mitchell Melton get in the backfield as a as a rush. Uh, he got a couple sacks I think today. So. Um, you know, same thing. We're looking for for you know three three guys at each position because uh, we're, all those guys are going to play and we're going to roll this year because we know it's going to be a long season. Yes. Yeah. Um, I think anytime you have somebody who's as talented as both both of those guys are. You know, you get excited about them certainly in the recruiting process. But then when you have guys who have discipline and then skill like they do, that's when you have a chance to have a great player. I think both of them uh, have discipline in their life. Um, I think both of them have built up a skill package. Caleb already has a year of college football under his belt at a high level. So uh, you know, he's further along that way. But, but Jeremiah has really stepped in. You know, he got his black, black stripe off real quick. Um, he's 
got a great approach. And, um, you know, I'm going to be careful what I say, but, but he's uh, he's been certainly a pleasure to watch, and we're all very excited about his future. If he continues on the path that he's on, uh, he'd have a, he's going to play a lot of football and certainly will have a chance to start as well. Andy Adams. Yeah, I think you're seeing CJ play fast. You know, he really likes uh, blitzing. You can tell he's quick in there. He's doing a nice job timing up the blitzes. And another year under his belt of experience, being in a room with Tommy Eichenberg, Steel Chambers, watching how they did it, how he's doing it. But I think you're seeing the, the, the speed and the athleticism and the length between uh, Cody, uh, Arvell, Sonny, CJ. You know, those guys are athletic. And Gabe Powers, uh, you know, all these guys are, are guys who – uh, they can blitz, they can cover, they can uh, you know, check defenses. I think they've done a good job with that. James and, and Jim have both done a really good job of training them that way. So um, excited about that group, you know, their versatility. They're not where they need to be yet. Uh, you know, I'm glad we're not playing tomorrow, but you can see the potential. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it was Will, Howard, and Seth Lebeau. Uh, you know, it's kind of a buildup. You know, you kind of watch them, and you watch their practice, and then and then you see, you know, uh, just progress being made, and then you start to get into the, uh, you know, the heart of spring practice, and you know, kind of earning their earning their stripes. That's why we do it that way. And, and both of those guys uh, deserve to get the black stripes taken off today. Spencer Holbrook. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think that he's uh, an excellent route runner. I think he, we need him to play for us this year. Uh, same conversation we had about these other positions. He's uh, very quick in short areas. I think he does uh, a nice job in the slot in particular. Uh, I think he's a mismatch for a lot of guys in there because of his quickness. He's a very good route runner uh, for, the, for the quarterback. He's got excellent body language, um, understands space really well, and, and can operate in those short areas very, very well. So, you know, the challenge for him is to continue to get stronger and play on contact. But if he can do that, then he'll definitely contribute for us this year. Yeah, well, I think all the running backs have run hard this spring. I think that they're they're seeing some of the little bit of the different, you know, schemes that we're doing. Not that they're that much different, but just a little bit different. Um, and, and they're picking that up really well. Uh, I think Trey's done a great job with his leadership. Quinn Challenge done a really good job coming. I think Dallin Hayden's had a really good spring as well. Um, but but it's great to see both James and Sam, um, you know, coming in as freshmen and picking up quickly. And you can see both of them have talent. Um, so I'm excited about all of them. And, and I think it's a deep room. Um, you know, I'd, I'd like to think it's the best room in, in terms of talent in the country. We're going to continue to build on that. Um, the other guy who's been very, very good in there, I think, you know, Kip is going to play for us and get he carries for us is T.C. Caffey. He's done a very good job. Um, he's very um, disciplined in his approach. And uh, he's, he's a guy that, you know, can really bring value for us. Yeah. I think you, you could see it. He was a little bit more calm in the pocket. I thought um, he had some really good throws. He did miss some throws as well, but I think that it is slowing down for him. I, he does a really good job in the pocket of having poise in there. Um, I felt like C.J. Stroud had a great feel for the pocket. He just, you know, the timing, you can't see the pocket. You can't see the rush, but you can feel it. And I think he does, and I think his height helps him to see over the trees a little bit. Um, I, I definitely noticed that about him. He's got a good way about having poise back there. Uh, and so, you know, as, you know, we have different reads, we have different, as his eyes get right and his feet time up with that, you're starting to see some of those plays being made. So, um, and the handle of the offense. But, um, you know, only a few weeks in here, I think we're seeing progress. But, but I'd really like to see him take the next step the next two weeks. Uh, Nathan Barrett. 
in the running back coach process. You yeah. Know, is there something about the dynamic of spring that allows you to kind of take time with this? Yeah, I just I want to make sure we have um, – so we've had some really good candidates. We've had some really good conversations. Uh, just wanted to make sure we get the right person in place, and uh, definitely taking, you know, conversation, uh, you know, feedback from uh, from you know a lot of people in the program to make sure we have the right guy. Because you're right, like right now there isn't, you know, like have to get it done right now because of recruiting. Um, I feel like you know we should have somebody in place here by next week. And final questions, Andy Baxter. Well, he's finally healthy, and he's actually, you know, putting stack and practices together. So I think that's probably the biggest thing, um, because I don't think, um, you know, he's been able to really show what he can do because he's had some, you know, injuries here and there, and and you know, he, he put on a lot of strength and a lot of weight early on, and had had a few issues, but now he's healthy. So at least we're seeing see him out there learning and growing and making some plays. Um, so, you know, I think we're kind of halfway through and I'll uh, figure out how we graded out today. Uh, but, but at least we're making progress because he's getting on the field and he's, he's getting those reps under his belt.